What? What's your hair, girl? Oh. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Kirsty, and it's so good to be back in front of the camera. I know it's been a minute, but I thank you guys for your patience and I thank you guys for staying with me. Guys, I am about 600 away from getting to 100K. The road to 100K has been pretty interesting, but so worth it. And I just wanna say thank you guys for all of your support. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your love. Thank you for being so amazing. Let's get right into it. You guys, I'm doing a Q&A. So I went to my Instagram and I told you guys, hey, I have some questions for you. Answer them and I'll talk about it on my YouTube video. So here we go. I'm gonna be reading the questions off of my phone. So I told everybody, ask me questions about my hair. First question is, what is your hair goal? My hair goal is to have healthy hair, but healthy hair with length. Yeah. I want to experience my curls brand new and by doing the big chop and going through this transitioning process I found that my curls are developing and they're changing each month as my hair is growing. Question number two, why did you cut your hair? I cut my hair because if you took a look at that video I did have some damaged hair and if you look at some of my older videos you will see that my hair is fine. My hair is naturally fine but Along with it being fine, it is damaged. Um, I do get split ends very easily. It doesn't take very much for me to get split ends, so I I wanted to pretty much get a really new fresh start, and I wanted to give myself the opportunity to wear my hair in a slick down, Tony Braxton, Halle Berry type of look. Question number three. Oils for scalp or scalp care? My number one oils is jojoba. Jamaican black castor oil and occasionally I like to throw in maybe an almond oil. I find even with my hair being fine, castor oil allows my hair to grow. It still allows it to breathe, but jojoba and castor is my two main oils. And I like to use tea tree essential oil, especially when I get my braids. Sometimes you never know, you may pull a little too tight one day doing a bun or a ponytail and you can irritate your scalp. So I love to use tea tree for when my scalp feels irritated or itchy or anything. So that's my oils. I wanted to find out from my followers a couple things about them. I asked everybody, when braiding, what do you guys struggle with? Feeding in the hair, cornrows, my neck and my back hurting. I highly recommend it that if you're gonna braid on yourself, make sure you take proper care of your body, wear comfortable shoes, wear loose, comfortable clothing that can get dirty from the oils and gels and moisturizers that we use. Pain and trying to make it through the first two nights. Or you might just have to take those bad boys out. I don't know, you might have to do that. I'm just saying, you want to save your edges, okay? The finger placement. My fingers feel all twisted and the hair gets tangled at the end. When you're braiding, make sure that you are braiding all the way down, braiding all the way down, braiding all the way down. Slow down and then once you get a rhythm, your fingers won't get all crisscrossed and won't look like you're throwing up gang signs and stuff. Having the ends of my hair blend well with the braided hair. I have super thick hair. If you can mix the beeswax and the gel and use it on the end while you're braiding, you wanna take gel and you wanna smooth it onto your real hair or take the beeswax and smooth it. Or um, if it is thick, make sure you get a good blow dry and then take that beeswax and you wanna use that to help it blend. Beeswax will not revert the curl and it'll allow it to mold with that synthetic braiding hair. Somebody said people's head being still. Story of my life, not just saying. <laughs> yeah, you need to tell your clients to sit down. Tell them if they want their hair done, they're gonna have to sit down. Girl, keep your head right there. <laughs> Parting the hair, adding hair, just doing cornrows. Somebody said, doing those damn lines on the hair when braiding cornrows. Oh well, I just keep the hair slicked in. Yeah, girl. Cornrows and parts. I, yeah, it gets all over the place. Somebody said French 
braids on the top of the head. Somebody said, my hair is fine like yours, I can braid, but it comes out too easily. That, I have to suggest that if it's coming out too easily, that means you need to probably braid it just a tad bit tighter or use a free spray. I'm learning that that, that helps. Um, if you wanna find a non-alcoholic, non-alcohol free spray, that would be great, like a hairspray. Somebody said stretching and sectioning the braiding hair. Um, yeah, stretching and sectioning definitely takes time. I remember like one time I was trying to like really stretch this hair, girl, no, I don't do that. I don't do that anymore. I just grab and I pull and I go, grab, pull, go. Somebody said they don't have Rasta free braiding hair where I live. Oh, I'm sorry that they don't have it there. But if you message them, Rasta free braid underscore official, they might be able to let you know um, some online links that you could use to purchase the hair. Um, I'll also post some down below. I asked my followers, why do you guys choose to wear braids? Because they look dope AF. Being able to try different styles and patterns, plus it's protective, of course. LOL. Somebody said they're fun, protective, low maintenance, and can give me a whole new look. Somebody said it looks good and it's a cheap hairstyle. Another person said protective style. Someone said no stress. Someone said it's easier to maintain my hair when it's in braids and takes shorter time in the morning. Hallelujah. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Girl, having braids, you just wake up and go eat breakfast and go. Somebody else said, I get bored with my curls. Need a change to give my hair a break. I love doing braids on my hair. I do love my curly hair, but y'all, I love me some braids. I love the way that they transform my entire look. Somebody said for the style and for protection. Somebody said to protect my hair and it's also very low maintenance. Somebody said I wear braids so my hair can grow and so I don't have to do anything to it for a while. Someone else said to protect my hair and grow it to its healthiest, fullest state and look cute while doing it. <laughs> That's what they did, the little tongue face, okay? I'm not this crazy. Somebody asked me, do you regret your big chop? My answer is no, I don't regret it. I did it, I wanted to do it. I wanted to experience having super short hair. I wanted to experience that. And I honestly totally thought that I was gonna look like totally different. But um, yeah, I got a reality check when I saw my real hair. <laughs> But it's okay, I'm not ashamed of it. No, I don't regret it. Okay guys, that's the end of my q and If you guys have any more questions about how to braid or just life or vlogs or family or anything, don't hesitate to leave it down below. That's the end of this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to drop a comment if you have anything to talk about about anything that was mentioned in this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so that way you can be a part of the Patreon family, okay? Thanks for watching. Stay channeling the beauty that's within inside of you. Oh, wait a second. Do y'all want to see my hair? I know y'all looking at my hair like, you got purple hair. Oh, girl, girl. Yeah, so I did a photo shoot with Rasta Free Grade and this 
crochet hair is coming out um, very soon. I'm not sure what the name of it will be. I just know that I was blessed enough to have the opportunity to do the photo shoot. And I love the color. Um, I do like the length. And I actually love the curl pattern. It's almost like I have some curly bundles in, but I don't. It's not heavy. Um, you guys are going to see this again on my channel because I can do so much stuff with this hair. It's like crazy. Look at that. Look at it. Who's she? Who's she? By <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm done. <laughs> now that you got the details about all this pretty purple curly hair, I'm going to need y'all to go ahead and watch some other videos. I'm going to go eat my dinner. Bye.